Car traffic. This is Melbourne, but it could be almost any capital city in Australia. And every day as more and more cars, trucks and transports come onto the roads, the chaos grows worse. In 10 years there will be 6 million vehicles in use. Sydney, with its unplanned streets, is in danger of choking to death. Authorities are constantly revising traffic flow. The problem was already getting serious 40 years ago. Since then, the number of cars has doubled and trebled. The authorities have tried everything. The Harbour Bridge was completed to speed up traffic, and motorists, used to long delays on punts, cheered when the bridge was open. But they're still paying the toll, and there are still delays in the peak hours. Already, Sydney needs another Harbour Bridge. Ferries carry some passengers, but they're not as popular as they might be. And some cities, of course, have no ferries. In the next 10 years, Australia will need 3,000 million pounds to meet its minimum road requirements. New expressways, new bitumen, new bridges. And the National Association of State Road Authorities says the need may be even greater. Meanwhile, people get to work as best they can. Chaos on Australian roads, caused by a road-building program which just can't keep up with the volume of new cars. 